Cole, great to have you with us on Houston Live. Thanks for the time. That was a, we, we enjoy listening to that. Such a natural at what you do. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. How's the, uh, when you look back at the past year, com, uh, considering what you do, uh, how's the pandemic affected anything that you're able to do on stage? Well, unfortunately, it's been very little being on stage. <laughs> a lot of it has come down to me having to do things digitally. So where we've lost our audience, we've had to find an audience on the Internet. And that is really the platform yep. that you all are in right now. And you call Katie home with your husband, Stan, your two teens, Morgan and Julian. Um, I can imagine you all have had some fun over the last year at home, huh, Mom? <laughs> Oh, most definitely. <laughs> we've been together 24-7 since last March. So we've, we've really ha realized how much we love each other. <laughs> I love this picture. Explain it to us. <laughs> well, a friend of mine, Maureen O'Shea, she's a photographer, and she wanted to do something at the beginning of the quarantine to kind of give a memento of what the time was. And she was doing porch side photos. And so she had us come outside and she was socially distanced, you know, down at the um, sidewalk. And she took a picture of us. And so I told her, I said, well, I want to, I don't want to do mine, you know, with us all smiling, looking cute. Right. I was like, I want, the, I want the essentials. I want some Lysol. I want some <laughs> Charmin toilet paper. <laughs> I want the essentials that represented what we were in at that time. Real life. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Real life, yes. Nicole, when you look back at your career, I mean, the resume is, is just incredible. You've performed in, all over the country, all over the world as well. Do you have a favorite place that you have performed that perhaps has stood out to you? Um, one of my most favorite places performing was maybe Glyndebourne. It's a uh, festival in, in England, and it's on an estate. And it's literally someone's home that they've turned into an opera house. And it's, it's historic, it's beautiful, and I mean, you're performing an opera and right outside there's sheep walking around. <laughs> and people there in black tie. It's, it's a wonderful place to be. I love going there. It sounds phenomenal. Nicole, tell us, yeah. how did you discover the opera voice in you. It, I, I'm just mind blown by, by the power that your yeah. voice has. I found it because as a young child, I really was, I was a singer. My mother was a pianist, but I always sang in church. I sang gospel music, I sang spirituals. But once I got into high school, my music teacher, Dr. Lena McLean, looked at me and said, you're an opera singer and you're a soprano because I had been singing alto. And I said, um, black people don't sing opera. And she said, yes, they do. And she turned me around and there were posters on the wall that I had seen every day at school, but didn't realize that they were Leontine Price and William Warfield. And they made me aware that this is who I could be. And I, once she told me that, I just ran with it. And I love the fact that I get to dress up and be different people and <laughs> just have a good time and give people joy. Do you still, uh, are you still amazed when you see yourself on video? Maybe you've done it for a long time now, but maybe in the early part of your career, it's like, man, that's some pretty good sound I'm producing here. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of amazing and kind of, you know, crazy to see yourself and see posters and see yourself in print or on video. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun. You know, when you're in the moment, you don't think about it. But when you see it afterwards, you're like, wow, I just did that. It is really incredible. And we're so honored, of course, to call you one of our own. As you live in Katy. Um, let's talk. Yes. We have about 30 seconds left. And uh, let's talk about, of course, the digital installment that you're dealing with right now about Giving Voice 2021. Yes, if you get a chance, please go to Marquee TV or HGO.org to see Giving Voice, which is a performance that Houston Grand Opera is putting on that I am co-hosting with Larry Brownlee that has all African-American singers and we're singing standards, opera, everything. It's a beautiful concert. Last year's concert was sold out. So let's try and sell it out however we can do that on the internet. Absolutely. It's going on now through February 21st. Nicole Houston, thanks so much for joining us today on Houston Life. Great to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. You have a great day. You too. And to connect with Nicole, we do have a link with the scene on Houston Life section of our website at HoustonLife.tv. And after the break,